This is a page from Lost Ocean, a book made by Joanna Besford. And I would like to try something new. Well, it may not be entirely new, but I've been watching a lot of videos lately about painting. Not so much coloring, but painting with oil paints, pastel paints and watercolor and what I noticed in the oil paint videos and also the pastel paints is that many artists decide to first put in the shadows and then later on cover the shadows with the color now I use this technique sometimes, but most of the time I start with just, most of the time I just do whatever I like, um, adding color first and then the shadow and then back to color and then shadow again. And so, but now I would like to test what is going to happen if I put in the shadows first. So what if there is light over here and this front building is casting a shadow on the building next behind it and I'm going to use a cobalt blue and this is just an experiment but I saw one oil painter using cobalt blue now cobalt blue paint and cobalt blue pencil can be a completely different color experience but let's just see what happens
Now this seems to be some sort of glass dome, some dome, but I imagine that this dome has a has a wall in the background and this tiny house is casting a shadow on that wall. That's just imagination. You make, uh, you do whatever you like. Now I had to erase a little bit over here because I made a mistake. This tiny house is casting a shadow like this, but uh, on the back side of the dome, because that is farther away, the shadow will be farther away and I am thinking about how to it should be somewhere over here I think this is how you may see the shadow of this tower this roof something like this Construction, constructing shadows can sometimes be pretty complicated. But the more accurate you are, the more real the drawing will look like. <coughs> Now the same goes for this roof. It will be something like this. And the same goes for this roof. Now this roof is almost horizontal over here. Well, it is not so steep, so it the shadow will look a bit different. Let's see. I think this should look like this. And then that pinnacle. And then we'll go like this. Now this roof, this point is a bit off because I put it all a little bit lower, the shadows, and this one is at the same height, it's not good. So I will change it. I always try to 
erase as little as possible but uh, well if it's necessary then it's necessary and then I will do it so this is what the shadows look like right now I uh, sharpened my pencil still cobalt blue polychromos and I will now add tiny bits of extra shadow to give the the buildings a little bit more structure so for example this is a door I think and what if there is a little shadow over here So the, the sun is coming from the left, the, the light is coming from the left, this is a, uh, it's a deep sea world, I have no idea whether, if that is still sunlight or, uh, I added some extra lines of shadow while you were not watching and um, I will now add the last lines the same way I did it over here like here and here and in this little sphere and over here and here and you can choose yourself how, um, how much shadows you want to put in
So this is roughly what you can do with shadows and more will be added but I will do that in the second episode of this uh, small, small series about uh, um, shadows. So I see you in the next episode. Bye bye.